I should talk to either. Cast about this land. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more men. have to go. Then go in peace. I have to then go in peace. What have you got for me today? You and Petra chasing a white elf through the woods high as wispy clouds, my god! I could barely breathe for laughing! Impressive! Never seen anything like it! Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. What have you got for me today? Done for now. I brought something for you. Bringing me this would be helpful. Excellent. I could really use this. All done. I will see you later. Say hi to Petra if you see her. Ah, I was just thinking about you. Just came to give you a kiss. How sweet of you, love. Come here. Message has come. Ah, I was just thinking. Let's have a drinking contest. You against me. <laughs> if you think you can win, love, I'm eager to indulge you. You are a good boy. Message has come.
impressive. I hope you're ready for how you'll feel in the morning. What about we spend a bit of time? Just you and me. I like how you think. Come over here. A message has come. Nice to see you. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chelbet will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Dag, Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. Sigurd's life is at stake. We need you there. No, I am needed here. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolfkist. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. I've been working on some designs. May I see your story?
Nothing more? I must take my... A good day to you. I'm open for business. There are things that require fixing, and you seem the capable sort. We have the others of trap. attention here. Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? That is my point. So you hold no stock in faith, only in the rational proof, the science of the divine. You're bold to defy your teachings. No, no, that's not what I mean. Let me, uh, let me explain, if it might, uh, how to put it. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes, 
Uh, no, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. What happened in Mercia still puzzles me. Fulke saw something in Sigurd. A power, a legacy. What is it she wants? Her motives are difficult to fathom, but that can come later. Let's find your brother first. Agreed. If we do this, you'll earn the right to call me friend ten thousandfold. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come. I will introduce you. And we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty, the Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary, sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. 
When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falconston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Fulkenston. Alfred's emissary spent a few days here. Someone. If Alfred's emissary spent a few days here, someone may know where he went. What can I tempt you with? Until next, we meet. to catch flies or would you ask something of me i'm looking for a man he passed through here on the king's business no oh, bugger off here or i'll call the guards i'm sick of people you need to heal your own ills how about you help me from the goodness of your heart and then i'll leave you alone a wise move mudwit it so happens i did see alfred's man he's long gone though 
Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Swamp scarf that can't have gone far. Oh, so cold. Someone stole my trues. You there, you're alive. Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. Another tottering cheat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. wakes me. I'm the one you sing of, Bard. Stern of eye and scanned of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress, the southeast coast.
winters for you. Better to die than face my lords. I hope my Magister Magnus forgives me. For so long, I looked to him for guidance, for order. If your honor is slow, a true lord cannot forgive you. They cannot. Huh. Now I will turn my gaze to Warden, Tiwar, and Shunor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. You will spin and drill yourself to an endless bottom.
The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said Paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Come <laughs> on. 
looks more like it. Joseph Elderman is a thane called Tetman. The Abbot Cunebert will want to know.
me what life. Your belly. Oh. Oh. Ah. 